Hello, and welcome to Magnolia Academy. In this video, we will take a look at the different template types and learn the terms templates, pages, components, and areas in the context of Magnolia. It's important to understand that pages, components, and areas are all templates. So when I say a page, I mean a page within the website hierarchy. Every page in Magnolia is defined by its page template. Some typical examples of that are home, section, article, news. So when I say a news page, I actually mean a concrete page assigned the news page template. Or another example would be this article page. I say it's an article page because it's assigned the article page template. Now a page contains areas as sub-elements. Pages and areas are both templates, but page templates define the type of page, where areas define the structure of the page. So let me show you an example of that using a screenshot of a new article page. Here we can see we've defined a page header area here, content area here, and then comments, base, extras, and promos areas. And these areas, sometimes referred to as component containers, can contain none, one, or a list of components. So let me show you an example of each one of those using the standard article page. So an example of a none would be the page header area. If you scroll to the bottom, you can see you can't add any components to it. An example of a list area would be this extras area. Notice there's already some components in here. And down at the bottom, you're allowed to add more. In this case, as many as you'd like. So this would be an example of a list. An example of a one would be the comments area. So I'm allowed to add a new comments component. So let's go ahead and do that. I have one to choose from, the page comments. So let's say here we'll have page comments example. And then, if you scroll to the bottom, you see you can't add any more. So I've added one, so this would be an example of a one component area. Now, components can also use areas to find their structure as well. Just like we saw a page divided up into many areas, you can also have an area defined within a component. So let me show you an example of that. So let's come back up to the extras area, scroll to the bottom, and add a new component. In this case, I'm going to add a link list. So we'll have the link list example. Save that out. And now let's take a look at what happened here. So I've added a link list component to the extras area. Now notice though, it's defined its own sub area. And this is for actually adding the links to. So now you can add as many links as you like into the link list sub area. Areas also can define sub areas. It's not completely obvious by looking at this page, but this center portion here from this point all the way down past comments is called the main area. And the main area is actually divided into a comments area, a content area, and the page header area, which we saw before. So like I mentioned before, areas are sometimes referred to as component containers and provide functionality for managing which components can be added, how many components can be added, inheritance of components, which means, for example, if I define a component on a parent page, it will be transferred down to child pages, and auto-creation of content. 